Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Make Code Arcade Advanced Stream, Richard and Vivian edition. The best. Um, I'm Richard, at Richard on the Make Code Forum. I'm Vivian, at Live Cheerful on the Make Code Forum. Hey, Richard, don't you think we should come up with a name for our subgroup? That would be a good idea, I think, because you and, you and I are, like, the most often streamers. Like, yeah. I don't want to put anybody else down, but okay, we're, what like, if, here all the time. We're, like, RV, so maybe we could be, like, on the move. I like that. Richard and Vivian on the move. <laughs> RV, taking it on the road. Yeah. <laughs> we both hate driving. Yep. Please, somebody else, join us and take us on the road. <laughs> <laughs> RV, we miss all of you. <laughs> RV, please don't leave us. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, anyway. Um, so, um, hey, 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 Vivian, is there anything special about this week? Oh, my gosh, Richard, there is. It, it's, it's, it's game jam week. It's Game Jam Week. Um, specifically, it's the Time Jam. You could say that this is the beginning of time. The Time oh. Jam. You could also say this is the start of something new. Yes. Anyway, so what's a Game Jam? It's a thing where you can make a bunch of games in two weeks um, and submit them to us. Um, and we're going to check. We're going to pick the best ones, and they're going to going to go up on our uh, home screen in their own category. So um, you should participate. You can go to the forum to find more info. Um, but that means that this week we're going to be making time-based games. Um, yeah, and so today, um, I was thinking we could make a game that's kind of inspired by, well, it wasn't inspired by, but it ended up being very much like Persona, <laughs> <laughs> which is, um, I want to make a scheduling game. So it's a game where you have a schedule, you've got like so many hours in the day, and people are going to go up to you and be like, hey, do you want to join my bocce ball club? And then um, when you join Bocce Ball Club, it'll like slot into your schedule and um, we'll give you points in, in like different categories. And at the end, once your schedule is all full or like once you can't schedule anything more, we're going to show a graph to show like how, how well-rounded you are. <laughs> Wait, can it be like the, the points thing and the, the lines thing? Oh my gosh, I would love to make it that, but that is going to be very difficult to do, I feel. Do you think I could do no, a wait. Joey? No, wait, maybe we can do it. It'd be easy, Richard. It'd be so easy with the image and the sprite utils. Yeah, we might be able to do it. We might be able to do it. All right, we'll try. Yeah. Um, okay, wait, Richard. In the meantime, we also have Game Jam questions in chat. Do you want to answer them? Yeah. Okay. Um, one question is, can we make time travel games for the time? Yes. Time yes. Absolutely. Time travel is a perfect thing to do. Yeah. Okay, second question. Can you submit multiple games for the Game Jam? Um, yes, I don't remember what the exact limit is, but let's let's say two. Let's say mm -hmm. two games. I think that's a good number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A soft two. Okay, another question. Can you submit one, like a game, that was not made in that week, so before the Game Jam started? Um, I mean, no one's going to know, but you should... We're, we're, we, Strongly recommend that everybody, you know, use games that they're they're making. Yeah. Like this week. I feel you know? like that's the spirit of the jam is to, you know, see what you can do in two weeks, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then finally, can you use assets that you didn't make, like art assets? Well, you know, if you're making a game, you want to make sure that you have permission to use whatever you do. Um, so as long as you have permission, it's totally fine. Um, but otherwise, you know. Try and try and try and get permission. <laughs> yeah. So, um, keep on dropping your questions in the chat, and we will answer them as we go. Yeah. On the move. Um, all right. So I'm gonna make a schedule, and I'm realizing, you know, I'm not gonna draw this. This is gonna be. This is gonna take way too long to draw. I'm just gonna. We're gonna do it with um, like extensions and stuff. So let's do that. Um, so first off, we're gonna be doing a lot of text. So we're gonna go ahead and add um, a text extension. Nice. Um, and text is great because it lets us um, put text onto the screen, which is kind of something that's hard to do, except like Sprite say. Um, so let's first we're going to start by drawing our agenda. So I'm going to go ahead and put a background color now, which will be, let's go agenda color. Diane? Yeah, sorry. I'm not, I'm not good at multitasking. Yeah, I like it. Um, okay, I'm going to add another extension now because I'm pretty sure we're going to need to... What? Not, nothing, nothing. Go. Please proceed, Richard. Um, I'm going to 
going to add another extension um, that we're probably going to need, which is Joey's Arcade Sprite Util. And I want to add this because I'm going to be drawing some stuff to the screen using like fill rect and stuff. And this has a really great block for, for doing that, um, this render on Z index. So what this block does is it just lets you um, basically create your own sprite kind of like on the fly. So uh, you can take the screen, which is an image, and you can use this draw stuff to like just draw on the screen. And then um, you can give it a Z index just like you do with the sprites. OK. so. Um, let's go ahead now. We're going to create our headers. So um, I'm going to make an array. We're just going to be doing weekdays. No, no weekends. You know, <laughs> we like to keep them free. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on. Nope, not look up. Come on. Two. Two. Ha ha ha. Red. Oh. Two. <laughs> and fry. Hey, do you know where the days of the week came from? Um, the, 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 the thunder. And then the... Yeah. And like then the Julius? Apology, I think. I don't know exactly, but I know that Thursday is Thor's day. And then Friday is also one. Like Frida? I don't know. Oh, I, yeah. I should have I should have um, prepared before I started giving a fact, you know? Hmm. Somebody chat says Norse mythology. I believe that. Cool. All right. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and create text sprites for all of these days. So let's go and go into loops. We're going to use a, well, we're actually going to use an index because we're going to, sorry, index. Um, so we're going to do from zero to the length minus one. Uh, we need to, we should maybe just like put into the, um, toolbox. Mm -hmm. Um, a length of variable minus one. Um, maybe. Do you, I feel like, yeah. Richard, you can do whatever you want. I can't stop you. Okay. <laughs> um, also, I'm using the text length, so this is another fun thing. You can use the text length with, a, with an array. It works fine. They're both mm. the same. They're just different colors. <laughs> um... Okay, so let's create a text sprite. We're going to do um, the array, get value at, index, change this to be days, and then we're going to give it a position. So right now we'll see, yeah, just a lot of overlapping text. It's kind of cool, actually. But um, we're going to set its position, so. Do, do, do. All right, so we'll set the X to be like, Make it like I'm just gonna put in a random thing for now. We'll see how spaced out it is. Let's see five plus index times. Let's see, I think they're like eight, so it'll be twenty-four or something. Mm. One, two, and that one looks safe. so good. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty okay actually. So let's change this to be like ten. But Monday's not cut off. Yeah, even more. It's maybe like fifteen. Cool. All right, and then we can space them out even a little bit more. So let's do like 28. Ooh, even more. This is this is like a luxurious agenda. You have plenty of room to, to write your activities. Yeah. It's like those planners right. that only give you like a little bit of space. It's like, what's even the point, right? Yeah, I, I was thinking we would actually have to like wrap into two rows or something. Ooh. But what a Ooh. fool I was. It looks so good. Oh. All right, now that we've got this, we also want to draw some lines, I think. So we'll put some lines in between. Um, and then we're going to do some stuff to draw our activities. Um, but for now, um, Vivian, can you start brainstorming some activities? Oh, yeah, sure. Chat, help me brainstorm. <laughs> hmm.
So I could use draw a line here, but because I'm just drawing a vertical line, I'm just going to use fill rectangle, um, which I find slightly easier to reason about because I don't have to put an end position. I can just put in a width of one and a height of whatever. Um, so we want to do the same like for loop, um, but we'll get rid of this. We're going to put this in here. Um, and then for the where we draw our lines, we want the x's to kind of match up. So we'll just do this for now, and then we'll probably have to adjust it a little bit. Let's see. OK, yep, right in the center. That's not what we want. So um, we actually want to move them over just a bit. So let's move them over like, I don't know, like 30. We'll change this to be 45. OK, too far. Uh, 37. A little bit less. 33. There we go. That looks okay. Um, and we'll set the Y to be like, nah, let's see, what did our Y, what Y did we use before? 15. Um, so we want to be like up a few, so I'm going to do like 18. Where did I type that? Nowhere. <laughs> We have so many suggestions for clubs, so I hope you're ready, Richard. I am. I am ready. You know, keep them. Keep them coming. Okay, we're gonna, keep them coming. Have like, I think we're basically just going to have a giant array full of club ideas, and we'll just choose a random one and give it a time slot. You know. Uh, one other thing, we're gonna do um, instead of minus one, we're gonna do minus two for this one because we don't actually need that last line. We just want the ones that are in between. Nice. Um, and let's give this a nicer color. Let's do um, purple. No, I want to use purple as an event color. Use dark purple. Nice. OK. So um, I think the only other thing I would want to do is maybe like write out the times over here, but we don't have space for that right now, so I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so instead, let's start doing clubs. Um, so I'm going to start filling out the list. Um, keep them coming. I'll, I'll add more later, but um, for now, we'll just go through a few and get some just to start out with. So, mm -hmm, do, you, mm -hmm. do, you, do you have a few for me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pixel Art Club, Soccer Club, Reading Club, a baseball game. Yeah, I'm, I'm changing it to baseball team. Oh, more of the commitment. Yeah. Kar karate club and a coding club. Minecraft club. Weather watchers. Oh, yeah, we have somebody coming in to chat asking, you know, what game we're making and how does it work? Um, Richard, let's test how much I paid attention to you. This is something I've noticed before that I don't really pay great attention to people, so I'm working on it. So we're making a game where you are in school and you have people like trying to get you to join their clubs and you got to decide if you want to join or not and you got to fill it in on your schedule. And then at the end, when your schedule is full, you can see how, how skilled you are because each club will give you different skills for things. And then we'll make like the chart that's like, you know, the shapes on like, you know, and then, yeah, then you want to be the best person you can be, right? Perfect. Who says I don't pay attention? <laughs> Joey. Joey, <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> um, we can put everyone on blast today. <laughs> yeah, um, nobody's here to defend themselves. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So now we need to decide what our um our our um stats are. Mm-hmm. This is this is gonna be very important. We're, we need to choose stats. And oh, by the way, I changed the Weather Watchers Club to the Young Meteorology Association because I, I was having fun with it. Big fan. <laughs> um, all right, I think we want to have like five stats. Um, since we're going full persona on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So I think one should be teamwork. Ah. At athleticism? Creativity. Oh. oh, that's a great one. Thank you. I have the best words. Um, knowledge? 
I like it. One more. Mm. 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 Clap. Let's see. Mm. Fun. <laughs> happiness if we do <laughs> if we do fun or happiness we're going to have to say which of these things are fun and which are not oh that's true um mm. i don't want to do um so coordination okay is that different than athleticism I think it's a more specific thing within athleticism. Um, well, in Persona, you would do dexterity. What about people? Like, like? oh, wait, that's teamwork. Communication. Communication, wait. yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's like public speaking versus teamwork is working together, you know? Sure. Um, okay. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to define stats for all of these different clubs. Mm. So, the way we're going to do this is something. If you don't I'm have a way, somebody say... suggested one in chat. Oh, yeah. What is it? Um, perfect example of the block objects. Each club could be an object with a number for each trait. That's true. That's true. That's true. Okay, Why are we'll you seem sad about that, Richard? It's your ex extension. Well, yeah, I was thinking of something else, but oh. I think that this is better, so... <laughs> We'll use we'll use that. Um, also, I don't like I don't love this extension despite the fact that I wrote it. Uh huh. Um, okay. I think oh it's my gosh. useful. No quarters. No quarters. No quarters. No quarters. Oh yes. no! Well, I'm waiting to see quarters. Oh, Richard, you're only two behind me today, so you gotta step it up. You want to, if you ever want to pass me as the quarter stander. I was for a long time. For a long time, if you remember, I was number one in quarters. Was it really? <laughs> yeah, I, I was like way ahead in quarters. Well, nobody um, can, you know, match my acceleration. I improved. Zoom. Yeah, you know, your your most improved quarter. Quarter. Mm -hmm. Over. Oh, okay, okay. So um, to do this, instead of doing an array, um, because that's going to be kind of tough, what we're going to do is we're going to do a, um, a function. So let's go ahead. We're going to put in a function, um, and it's going to be called uh, create club. It's going to take in a, um, see, string, which is going to be the name. It's going to take in um, a, one number for each of these sets. So let's see, we got teamwork, creativity, athleticism, communication, and... Cor mm. Ath what was the last one? Mm. I don't remember. Yes, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get rid of it because we should know this. We just did. Okay, 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 okay. Um, something that you came up with. Knowledge, you came up with it. Oh no! <laughs> okay, and now the other thing we're going to do real quick is we're going to um, take these and rearrange them so that they match. Oh, I didn't do that bad a job. All right. Because um, otherwise, I'm going to look at this and I'm going to be filling out these blocks and I'm going to get super confused. Um, all right, so. For each of these, we're going to um, make something we're going to call it new object. Um, and we'll set our new object to be create empty object. Um, and now we're going to store all of these properties. So let's go ahead and start with the um, number. Well, we'll start with the name. We'll do this in order. So we're going to do new object. Set thing name to name. All right. Now for the number, we're going to set number and we're going to do, um, let's see, I can literally see them on screen. I should not have been thinking about that. <laughs> Creativity. Do you need help? 
I got it. I got it. Okay, okay. What if instead of putting the names in, you put emojis that represented the skills? I don't have your emoji wizardry, okay? It takes me, I have to like remember how to do it every time. Yeah, I can't. More often, what I do Mm -hmm. is I like open, you know, a search engine and then just search for the emoji and then grab it. (laughs) Yeah, I can't help you on Macs, but on Windows, you know, I'm a pro. Okay, creativity. Okay, athleticism. Okay, communication. Okay, knowledge. What's your name? Nope. There we go. Return new object. Cool. All right, so um, with this, we're going to um, go into our array up here. And right now, where we are um, defining all of these clubs, we are going to instead um, call this create club function. Um, oh, wait, one other thing I think we should do. What? We should define how long each club is, or we could just make them all the same length. Mm, wait, but maybe, maybe we shouldn't, because then you have to decide which one you want. Is it worth the commitment, right? But maybe it's yeah, easier maybe, to. Maybe the length should just be the sum of its stats. <sighs> mm-hmm. That's not bad, right? That's yeah, bad. so we can we can we can just go ahead and do um, uh, like a function that'll be like get time for a club. So, well, except oh, we can pass in the index. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay, so let's call our function. We're gonna call create club. Um, so let's start with oh, whoops, that's stuck in there. We're just going to copy this, put it in there, and um, let's see, pixel cl- art club. It's got a zero for creative for teamwork. Um, for creativity, it's got like what, like a two? It's pretty good, right? Richard, I think is the array of the function calls the same order as the array of the array or order of the array? Yeah, I made the match. Oh, teamwork, okay. creativity, athleticism, communication. Okay, cool. Knowledge. Sorry, I missed that part. Nice. Athleticism, I would say probably it's a zero. probably a zero. Communication. Communication, also zero. And then, like, I think knowledge also is zero. So this, is, this one's all creativity, right? It's all creativity, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So that's our first clip. Let's do soccer team. All right, soccer team. Teamwork, one. Athleticism, two. Mm-hmm. Communication, zero. Knowledge, zero. I think that's good. Question, is baseball team going to be different? Baseball team? Mm, well, I was going to say, put, hmm. Put a point in communication for baseball team. Yeah, for like the. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you have the base coaches like, go, 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 go. Nope. Go, 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 go. It's all communication in yeah. baseball. I like it. I like it. We'll do that. All right, reading club. So um, for reading club, we have um, teamwork. Well, that's a zero. Um, creativity. I mean, you're just kind of reading books. Yeah. Athleticism. Uh, turn pages. Um, communication. An interesting one. Communication? No, you don't talk when you read. You're not yeah, you're reading right. right if you're. Just like how this one was pure creativity, this one is pure knowledge. Well, okay, but then if you're in a book club, maybe if you're reading the same thing, then you have to you know, practice saying your ideas. I can see communication too. But it's like, it's like, it's not like a book report club. Oh, that's true. That's true. Okay. Keep it. Keep it. Baseball team communication. Okay. So I think, I think what we got is like, we got one for teamwork. We got one for athleticism mm-hmm. because soccer team is more running around. Right. Mm-hmm. But you make up for it with the one in communication. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next we have Karate Club. I think this one might be pure athleticism. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Cool. Maybe. I like that we have like a. I, I like the idea that we have a pure one in each of these mm-hmm, mm-hmm. categories. You know. Do we need a pure teamwork one? Is that Minecraft? That's a, it's probably not Minecraft. We'll probably have to come up with something new. 
Okay. Coding club. Um, five, 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 <laughs> five, five. Come on, <laughs> Richard. That's just ridiculous. What kind of athleticism do you have? Yeah, we'll put a two for knowledge, and you know what? We're going to put one in communication. Yeah. Your code needs to communicate to other people who are working on your code. Agreed. Yeah. If you're good at coding okay. club, you could be bad at coding club. That's true. Okay. Minecraft club. I think it's in, it's yeah. teamwork, you know. You think so? You got to work with the people you're playing with to do the things. Okay, we'll do one, and then we're also going to do creativity. Oh. And I think you could also make a thing for communication here. Oh, well, that's true. I guess I don't understand the difference between teamwork and communication. I think communication is just like... Talking? Very similar. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I don't think communication fits here. We're just going to do um, teamwork and creativity, because I think communication was meant more to be like public speaking type stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, you know, if you if you're in Minecraft and you're you know having like a like a, a court case in your Minecraft server, then, but you know, this is not law Minecraft. Minecraft law. It's just Minecraft club. Mhm. 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 Okay. Young Meteorology Association. All right. This one's pretty obvious, I think. You got a two in knowledge. You got a one in communication because you're doing weather reports. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do a few more real quick because I want to have a pure one in each of these. So, so we got a two for we got creativity covered, we got knowledge covered, we got athleticism covered. So we need it one in teamwork, we need one in communication. So I'll just go ahead and fill those in. Mm -hmm. We need to come up with what 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 is a pure teamwork club? Compare oh double dutch double dutch team. Oh, wait, that's also athleticism. That's also athleticism. Mm, yeah. What's just teamwork? Maybe like some kind of like volunteering. I like that. Puppy savers. Yeah. No one, no one will know what that is. No. Um. What kind of volunteer? Maybe it's like ecology club. That would definitely have knowledge. No, you like collect. You look like, oh, I guess you have to know what's recyclable or not. What's just teamwork? It's just teamwork. The essence of being a team. Hmm. And, okay, Unsigned Arduino says environmental club in chat. So that's two clips for environmental club. You want to do that and no not? Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Yeah, you can just follow the directions. You just walk around and be like, get your trash here. Knock on the trash bin. Trash. All in the best trash. Okay, so, like, what if we made it, like, Environmental Activism Club? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, this is... No, too. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and now for pure communication. Let's see. This one shouldn't speech be that team. bad. Speech team. It'd be, like, speech team. Yeah. Oh. You should be the school paper. <gasps> I want to be on the school paper. Me too. Joey was on the school paper. I know. I'm so jealous. Guys, I want to make a make code paper. Let's make it happen. Yeah, let's make it happen. If you would subscribe to our make code player, let us know. Yeah. Make Physical paper. newspaper too, you know. Deliver. Yeah. Thrown at your door. Mm hmm Oh, but then wouldn't that be athleticism too, Richard? So I don't think, no, I don't think that, like, it involves the delivering part of it. And also, when you're delivering papers at school, you know, it's, like, it's not as big an area. You don't need to bike around and throw. That's true. That's true. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with our stats. Sorry if I'm destroying your vision of what it would be like to be a newspaper club. Mm, no, no. Our newspaper club has to be better than high school. Otherwise, what's the point of graduating high school? Yeah. True. Mm -hmm. All right. So. We got this. We've got all of our different activities. They all have different lengths. Um, how long, how many hours in the day do we have to deal, to work with? Hmm. I guess you have before school and then lunch and then after school. So before school, you could have one hour or two hours and then lunch. I like it. So let's make, um, let's make a, um, um, a function, which is going to be called, um, draw activity. It's going to take in, um, a number, which is going to be the day index mm -hmm. um it's going to take in the start it's 
going to take in the length and it's going to take in the color. Um, and then she'd also take in a, let's take in um, a name and then we'll, we'll figure out what to do with that later. Mm -hmm. um, so what this is going to do is this is going to be a function we're going to call inside of our render thing. And this is going to draw something on our schedule and it'll just block out that time. Um, so right now, um, Vivian mentioned some good ones. You're going to have like your morning classes. Um, then there'll be like lunch will be a space then there'll be afternoon classes and then you'll have space in the, in the evening to do your stuff. So um, we're going to draw some activities and it's going to be, it's maybe like class, hmm. you know? Okay. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, copy some of this code. So um, up here, this is where we're calculating where our lines end. So we're going to take this um, because we're going to need it. We're going to need this calculation for um, um, figuring out where to draw our rectangles. Um, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to, oh, this should also take in an image. Oh yeah. Screen. Cool. Um, we're going to call fill rect. On our screen, we're going to put it, um, at, let's see, it's going to be something like this, but we want to use day index instead. Um, we want to make the width. Let's see. What was the width of our of our um, things? Twenty four. Was it twenty four? Thirty two. Mm. Yeah, it's right there actually. Um, and we want the height to be a something times the length, and the y is going to be based off the start. So, how many hours do we have in a day? Let's 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 make our our, our basic schedule right. Mm -hmm. So we've got like. Let's say we've got like. 6 to 8 a.m., right? Because yeah. then school starts. Yeah. Right. Then um, 8 to uh, 11 a.m. is going to be class. Mm -hmm. 11 to 12, lunch. Um, 12 to, like, 3? Yeah, that's school. Yeah class um and then three two like eight oh man <laughs> yeah whatever <laughs> um all right so we want to draw our class things on here um but the number of hours we're talking about here are let's see 12 plus um two, two. yeah so 14 hours you've got 14 hours to mess with so we want to make sure that um, whatever we're doing is going to be able to fit, you know, 14 hours onto this onto this grid. So let's see. Um, we've got 120, and <laughs> sorry, ignore me, please. Um, we've got 120, and um, I, we're actually being more like, um, let's see, we're we're starting this off all at all at um, 18, so we're going to chop off 20 from that. Well, we have 100 to work with. So we have 14 going into 100 is... Less than 10. Seven? Seven? Seven, seven times 70. Yeah, seven. Yeah, seven. Okay. And there's a remainder of two. Um, all right, so our, our um, Y is going to be Let's see, it's going to be like 30 plus 7 times length. I mean, 7 times start. Because um, we're doing it at the start of where our heading is, which is, um, sorry, not 30, 18. It's going to be 18 plus 7 times start. Because we're starting at where our label is, um, and then we're just multiplying 7 times our start time, which should be in hours. So, actually, it should be a little more than 18. I'll make it like 22. Or really, it should be 20. Yeah. 20 plus 7 times start. Okay, I'm not paying attention to you, but like, what brought this on? Oh, well, I was doing it, and I noticed I could do some pitches, and then I asked chat for a song that I should try doing. Oh my gosh, Richard, try to guess what this song is. All right. I can only hear like every other note and no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, okay, and 
then our height is going to be seven times um, the length. Um, and then our color is just going to be, you know, this. All right, cool. We got to draw activity. Let's call this function. Let's draw our classes. All right. So we're going to call draw. We're going to um, put in our index for, oh, I should keep this up here so I can see what all the <laughs> arguments are. Um, we're going to uh, just pass in our index for our day index. Oh, so sad. Mm -hmm. um, we'll pass in our screen over here. Um, for the name, we're just going to put class, um, which we're not even using right now. Um, we're going to, uh, for the um, start, let's see. So we want to start it at two hours for the morning, and then the length is three hours. Uh -oh. Right? Okay. We got to recalculate this, but... <laughs> You know, we got it going. Um, then we want to, oh, and actually, we want, we want to do this for all of them. So I'm going to have to just duplicate this. Oh, yeah, true. Get rid of that. Do minus one. Do draw activity like that. And then do like two for the X. Nice. Okay, we got something. Probably make this like 30. Mm hmm. Oh wait, no. We want that to be we want that to be thirty two, but we want the width to mm. be like thirty. Still a bit too much. Make the width like. Let's see, I think I want to shave like three off that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's shift them all over by one. So we'll change this to be one, um, and then we'll, we'll do 28, like you said. That's like more space on one side than it is the other, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, then we will just do day index times 32. <laughs> And Monday's going to go over to the edge, and we're not going to worry about it. Yeah. No, wait, that was the wrong direction. So wait, we're doing 1 plus day index times 32. I'm going to pay attention this time. And then what we want to do is, yes, we want to subtract 1 and add 1 to the length. That's what we want to do. Mm -hmm. So get rid of that. Add 1 to the length. 29. Weird number. Nice. That looks right, perfect. Cool. Yeah, looks good. Um, all right, so we got our morning classes. Let's go ahead and draw our afternoon classes. So that's from 12 to 3. So 6 plus 6 is 12, so we're going to start at 6. Yep. That oh. one's 6. <laughs> um, and then we are uh, running for 3 hours, so we'll just leave it as 3. Um, and then one. And then we should make this like a boring color. True. Let's do like this one. What number is that? Let's see. That is, let's see, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. That was smart. <laughs> I was kind of from the beginning. Yeah, okay. Cool. I don't love how this looks right now, but we'll make it look prettier later. It'll look better all when right. you have like, the text and all the other stuff, too. Yeah, and I'm thinking maybe it needs like a border, but we'll do that later. I think like a border would look really good. True. Maybe we should just do the border now. It's really easy to do. Let's do it. We're going to add a function. We're going to put in a number, number and it's going to be um, border. It's going to be a, just a color. And we're going to um, duplicate this fill rect because we're just going to be calling draw rect. I realize now the blocks just say rectangle. Mm hmm But you've been saying rect the whole time? Yeah, because yeah, that's what they're called in the code. Mm. Let me change this to border. Use the exact same arguments. 
and this will draw a nice border for us. So we should actually see this border now. Yay. Um, but we want it to not be that color probably. We want it to be like the dark purple, I think. Mm -mm. 12. That one is 15, 14, 13. Yeah, you win. With the power of memory. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing power. Um, all right, cool. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, so now we can draw things on our schedule. We don't have, you know, names or anything yet, but it's looking good. It's looking good. Um, so we're going to make another function now, and we need to be able to calculate how long the, the activity is. So we're going to calculate it. Like we said before, we're just going to add together all the points. Um, so... Okay. We're going to make the function take in the index of club. No, wait. I should have. Calculate length, and then the number is going to be index of club. Hmm. Um, because we can't pass in a block object, unfortunately, but we can um, pass in the index, and then we can just get it from our clubs array. So we'll go into the arrays. We're going to do get value at. We're going to change this to be clubs. And we're going to get a value at the index of club. And now we've got our object. Um, we're going to go into block objects. We're going to go into numbers. And we're going to do get number. And all of these should have numbers for all the different stats. That's how we wrote our code. And so we're just going to, uh, yeah, make a giant block that's going to be adding all of these together. Plus, plus, <laughs> plus, plus. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Oh man, it's gonna be huge. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's alright, we'll collapse it. Oh no. No. Trust, trust Rudolph. Trust the reindeer. <laughs> oh man. For those who don't know, the um, the line that gets drawn when you have the block is named um, Rudolph. It's the reindeer feature. <laughs> Reasons I won't get into. Creativity. Athleticism. That's Communication. Awesome. Knowledge. And now we just need to take it in a return. Get down here. Take this whole big guy. Put him in there. And <laughs> so long. <laughs> um, and we class it so you don't have to add that super long block. All right, cool. So um, one other thing we need to do right now is we need to um, tr track their schedule. Um, so I think what we should do is we should do that with an array. Does that sound good? A yeah, array I think of that... arrays? No, we just need an array, right? Because like, oh yeah, you're right, an array of array. Yeah, you're right. Because we want to do one for each day of the week. Mm. Um, all right, so we'll make an array. And it'll have empty arrays in it. Uh, it's going to be faster if I just do this with code. <laughs> Schedule. Set it to be empty array. Gonna do this again. Gonna, on each of these, push an empty array. Add value to the end right there. Yeah. There it is. What? Okay, no, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> what? I was gonna say a challenge for us one day is one person codes with their eyes closed and the other person Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. Um it would be fun to do that just to see if we could get through the easiest tutorial. True. <laughs> okay. You'll see I have an error right now, and that's because we don't know what type this empty array is. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add more code to put something into this empty array, um, and that's going to make it so that we uh, don't have to 
you know, it's going to be happy with us. Um, all right, so we have 14 hours, right? So we want to do this 14 times. We're going to go ahead and get our um, value at that index, and we're going to add zero to the end, or false. We're going to add false to the end. Mm. Yeah, 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 that'll work. No, wait, no. What do you want to keep it? it? What do you want to store in this array, Richard? I guess we want to put, like, the index. Of the activity? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're going to take this get value at, we're going to take this add value at end. It's right here. So we're going to do schedule. Wait. Oh. That's also a reason I was getting there. <laughs> <laughs> um, schedule, get value at index. This index is our day of the week. And then we're going to add the value. Um, what's a good value to indicate Negative that we did anything? Yeah, I like it. I know all the numbers, all the best numbers, you know, mm -hmm. like four. Wow. That's why your Vivian knows all the numbers, Lee. True. I know. Yeah. Some of, some of the, even, I know even some rare numbers, so. Do you want to share one of them to our oh our viewers? Like, like I feel like that would okay be. okay sure sure sure. Have you heard of E? It doesn't sound like a a number because it sounds like a That's letter. A Wait, is that a number? Have you heard of I? <laughs> <laughs> See a number? I um, look it up. All right, we're definitely not not gonna finish this today, but we've made like a lot of progress, and I feel pretty good about all the code we've written. So let's keep going and see what, what more we can do. And then, you know, maybe we'll come back tomorrow and we'll finish this game up. Mm. I'm really into this game, too. I, I'm looking forward. I want to do that, that star graph so badly. Yeah, same. <laughs> It'd be awesome. Um, all right. So we got this going, got this going. Um, now we want to make a function, which is going to be like add to schedule. Um, add to schedule is going to take in a number, which can be club index, and it's going to take in um, another number. No, actually, it just needs to take in the, the club index. Oh, no, it needs to take in start time and um, day index. Nice. All right. So um, when we do this, we're going to um, go into our uh, uh, schedule array. We're going to get the value at the day index. So let's do this. So we're going to take in our day index here. Um, and then we are going to um, do a loop for index from 0 to, oh, let's make a variable. I'm just going to be like length of club. So we'll set our length of club to the calculate length. Not that one. Yeah, that one. Then we're going to do an index from 0 to the um, length of our club, minus 1. Ugh, minus 1. Minus 1. Should be a block. <laughs> right. Um, and then we're going to take our schedule, add the day index, and we're going to set um, the numbers to, you know, be correct. Let's go ahead and do um, set color at, set value at. I mean, so schedule, get value at day index. This is getting our schedule for the day. We want to set the value to be our club index. And for this, we're going to do our start plus our index. So index starts at zero, so it's going to start at our start. Uh, and then it's going to do, you know, if it's like three hours long, it's going to do start, and then start plus one, and start plus two. And then start plus, yeah, yeah, that's, and that's what we want. Um, so go into math, get a plus. Start. Index. So it's scheduled. Um, and now we need to figure out how we're going to, what? 
rock schedule. Oh. Well, no time like the present. <laughs> We're going to go into here. We're going to loop over our schedule for each day of the week. This is going to be some fun looping. Yeah. Um, we're going to change this to be a new variable called day index because we don't want it to get messed up with our other index. There we go. Now we're going to do another for index. Um, I'm going to take these out for now. And what we're going to do is we want to basically go through our schedule and we're going to um, go through the schedule for that day. We're going to loop over from zero to 14 and every time it changes, um, we're going to set, we're going to draw our um, club. So we're going to go from zero to 14. Okay. As soon as it's not negative one, we're going to be like, okay, this is our current club. We're going to keep going till the end. And no, we're just going to use calculate length. What am I saying? <laughs> Oh, true. That's what we do on this stream. High efficiency coding. Yeah, okay. So we're going to set current club out here. We're going to set it to be negative two. That's not a club. That's not a club. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to um, loop until the current club does not equal negative two. Sorry, the, the like actual thing at the, the current thing in the day. So yeah. we're gonna do a give value at of our schedule. Passed it. Where are you at schedule? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, with yeah. the S. Yeah. Give value at day index. Give value at regular index. <laughs> this is getting our hour. And we're gonna say if it does not equal current club then we're going to draw whatever the current club is. So if it does not equal the current club, then we're going to set our current club to be whatever it is now. Whoops. And then we're going to call our um, draw that thing we just made, that draw current club function. Draw activity. Mm -hmm. um, and that's going to take in day index. Start is just to be index. Length is going to be calculate length of current club. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what's the next one? Color. Color. It's going to be. I don't know. We'll make it like green. Um, name is going to be. Oh, this is going to be annoying. <laughs> Clubs. Get value at current club. No, oh, no, we want block object and string and then get string. name and then the image is going to be screen oh. and then the last number is going to be our border which we want to be teal which is six oh no what's going on Perhaps I should put this farther up. Oh, no, I know what's happening. Um, so we also only want to draw it if current club does not equal negative one. Because we put a bunch of negative ones in there.
still not good enough. There we go. <laughs> Good catch, Richard. Yeah, off by one. I feel like right. that should be a quarter, eventually. That should. That is not a quarter. No, 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 not, no not like by our current rules, but I think we should be teaching ourselves. Oh, you want to amend the rules? Yeah, bring it up with the quartermaster. Okay, next time Joey's back. Um, okay, so let's let's test this out. We're going to um, add some clubs to our schedule. So we've got um, uh, this add to schedule function. Let's see, and then it takes in. Club index, start, and day index. So let's add in Minecraft club. Oh, look, we already added one in. Um, let's add in Minecraft club. So that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Minecraft club, we want to add it in at, um, that's, like a, that's like an afternoon thing, right? Yeah, definitely. Nobody wants to wake up early for Minecraft. That's exhausting. Yeah. We'll do that like 6 p.m. Yeah. Because like, yeah. And that's going to be 14 minus 2, 12. Or 11, because it starts with 0. Nice, nice. Got it in there. Um, and um, this is the day index. So right now we have it on a Tuesday. We'll add it to Tuesday and we'll add it to um, like Friday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Round off the week with some nice Minecraft. I support. Awesome. This is working great. I'm really happy. Um, and that's good because we're, we're kind of at time now. Um, but let's make a list before we go of the things we have left to do. We're at time now, Richard? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. It's This is the easiest jam to make jokes about unless we ever do an egg jam. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. What did... The clock say to the other clock. What time is it? It's it's time. <laughs> <laughs> yep, keep watching us every day for more gyms like that. I'll work on it. This is only day one of the gym. Okay, sorry, to do. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Okay. Star diagram. Most important. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, okay. Star diagram these have a name but i don't remember what it is affinity charts is that what it's called i think that is what it's called Pew. brain working at a thousand iq today okay what? yeah okay we need to pick colors for clubs mm -hmm. we need a make a random club function mm -hmm. this will take in um it'll it'll like just choose the time slot that's available and then, well, not necessarily available. It'll just choose a random time slot of like Monday, Tuesday, Friday, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or something like that. Um, and you know, schedule the club, and then you can put it on your schedule. So that's what that, that's what's going to do. I guess it'll be like choose a random club and time. Um, and then finally, we need a um, uh, like loop of choices. Yeah. And I think that's pretty much it. I think we could probably do that in one stream. It'll be in most two streams. Okay, can we add another one to make it fun? Because I feel like we'll see the affinity chart, but you know, you know, you, you need to see the person, you know? <laughs> I'm being honest, Richard. <laughs> okay, schedule are only fun because of the results, you know, doing stuff. Um, yeah. All right, we'll do that, too. I guess judgy just isn't a word. I can spell it however I want. <laughs> um, all right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Um, we got to go do a meeting now. Um, I'm Richard, at Richard, on the Make Code Forums. And I'm Vivian, at Live Trip on the Make Code Forums. And we're RV, on the move. Taking it on the road. <laughs> Please don't leave us alone. <laughs> Oh, you want to just end there? Okay, sure. Oh, yeah. Bye. Bye.